are here. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say this morning to all the mothers that are here, hallelujah. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to you. God bless you. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the second epistle of Paul the Apostle to Timothy. Second Timothy. I'm going to give you a short word this morning that dropped into my spirit. I'm not going to worry at all. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that there is something worth seeing in 1 Timothy 1. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read it to your hearing. And when you say it, and when you have to say amen, because I don't want to go on with action. Amen. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 1. I'm going to begin reading for you, and I am reading out of the King James Version, so mine will probably be this, that, thou, and all that, and yours may not. But I'm reading from the King James Version. Amen. Starting at verse 1, it says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus, our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers day and night, greatly desiring to see thee. Being mindful of thy tears that I may be filled with joy. And verse 5 is what we are going to focus on. When I call to remembrance the unfeeling faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Say amen to the reading of the Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you this morning about a mother's spiritual deposit. All right. All right. A mother's spiritual deposit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, Timothy, and I, I'm going to give you a little background, and I don't want to bore you, but Timothy was Paul's spiritual son. Uh, Timothy's mother was Jewish and his father was Greek. All right. Paul took, to, uh, took Timothy along with him on the second and third missionary journeys. And Paul would often send Timothy out on mission on the mission field by himself. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Paul was training Timothy for ministry. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. Man. You see, it's different from today uh, because today, if a person knows that there is a calling upon the night, the first thing they do since the time is they want to run to the poor people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They want to run out and get to the building and come up with the name of the church and call themselves past the this yeah. and past to that. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Just because God has addressed uh, you with the ability to preach doesn't mean that it's not. That's right. right. That's so, right. So, praise God, Timothy, uh, Paul took Timothy up under his arm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Praise God. And he trained him All right. for ministry. Yeah. Right. Praise right. God. He trained him for ministry. Amen. Yeah, Paul taught Timothy the word. Paul lived a life before Jesus. Yes, yes. He lived a holy life before him. Yes. You see, the reason Paul could do that is because Paul had something in him. All right. See, we're too busy today wanting to give somebody something that's not in us. All right. You can't make a deposit to somebody else yes. if that thing is not in us. All enough. right. All right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, Paul took Timothy under his wing. 
thing and they taught him the word. Yeah. He, 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 he lived holy before him. If Timothy, Timothy needed rebuke, Paul rebuked him. Amen. Yeah. When he needed encouragement, Paul yeah. encouraged him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Paul treated Timothy like he was his biological son. Uh -huh. yeah. Praise God. You see, Paul did what Solomon said to do in Proverbs 22. Amen. Because Solomon said, train up a child mm -hmm. yeah. in the way that he should go. Yeah. Yeah. Solomon didn't say your biological child. Yeah. Because if we have any debt or any experience or any time in God, you ought to be raising up some spiritual yeah. child.
people stabbing you in the back yeah. and looking you in the face and telling you that they love you. Yeah. He had to, to prepare them for the fact that there may be times where you're hungry and you don't know where your ne next meal is coming from. Amen. But I'm going to prepare you, praise God, hallelujah. I want to get you ready because you see this is true ministry. Uh -huh. Jesus. Faith. I just want to encourage you this morning. Thank you. In your faith, mothers. Thank you, Lord. In your faith, young people, mothers, you've got to depart faith unto your children. Yes. These children need faith to go into these yes, school houses. Yes, yes, yes. Everything's going on in the schools today. Yes. They call in places of higher learning, but they can go to school and learn how to smoke a joint mm. just like All 
All right. You come from women of God. Yes. Who despite whatever they faced, they placed in you faith. Yes. Uh huh. You see, you have to remember in biblical times, women were zero. They had no value. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Did the time begin, hallelujah, to change about women? All right. Amen. Did our roles change? Praise God. But God has called the woman and only the woman to procreate. Amen. All right. I'm, I could divert, but I ain't. I'm going to stay on the path. All right. to go 
guard what he's placed in. Yes. My children. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care if that's not your biological child. Hallelujah. Raise up some spiritual children. Yes. Amen. Take someone else's children. Yes. Teach them the word. Yeah. When that child is wrong, snatch them behind them. Mm -hmm. Tell them they're wrong. That's the way we used to do it. Now that's the way they used to do it back when. You're right. Praise God. Because, praise God, if I did wrong, the hard ones who live down the house, brother, and Miss Hard used to keep a long switch. <laughs> and if we was outside and she saw us do something, we would just see her come across that street with that switch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that switch was like way up in the air. Like she took that switch and like popped that thing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> But she would whoop on the high uh -huh. and send us home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because she knew we was back and we used to learn to take our mama's eggs and bomb people's houses. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But you see, back then, adults snatch other people's children up. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's why children are so unruly today. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because there were nobody saying that to that children. You're right. You're right. You let that somebody say something to that bad little girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Over. God commands us to guard over our children. Uh huh. Hallelujah. You got to guard. Hallelujah. What they're looking at. Mm -hmm. You got to guard what they hear. Mm -hmm. You got to guard. Mm -hmm. Praise right. God, children ain't got no business going over everybody's house and spending the night. Right, right, right. right. Everybody went over that house and checked it out. If right. If the there, I would have had my child stand over my house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. They need enough spirits daily. They don't need to. No. Mm -hmm. no. 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 See, there's some things that just need to be cut off. Mm -hmm. That's right. We need to get back to some old ways. I know y'all didn't come to hear this right. this morning, praise right. God. Right. But the word, praise God, is good. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. The next generation of spiritual leaders are coming up. Yes. What are we doing? How are we depositing it into their lives? Amen. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. We see these little young girls putting on any kind of clothes, wearing anything. Mm. Certain parts of their body begin to spread forth, and they want to wear something that's revealing. Mm -hmm. No, baby, it ain't about the breast or the hips. Right. But do you have a mind? Yes. If you want somebody to see something, let them see your mind. Yes. Let them see what you're doing in school. Yes. Let them see what you're doing. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. You see, we must guard over our children. Praise God. Thank God because my daughter is in Tennessee. And hallelujah. Whenever something rises up against her, she'll call me on the phone. Mm -hmm. She said, Mom, we got to pray. Hallelujah. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Because you have to understand, this was a young lady who didn't do anything but cry. Mm. I got so sick of that child crying. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And one day I told her, look, hallelujah, if you're going to keep crying, you're going to cry by yourself because I ain't crying with you. Mm -hmm. I don't care how hard God, or how hard life gets. Mm -hmm. I ain't crying with you. Mm -hmm. But you have to learn how to pray. Yeah. It was your decision to marry that man and move to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to stop crying. Mm -hmm. yes. So now she don't cry anymore. She calls me, Elder Gresham. She said, Mom, let's pray. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm with you now. Yeah. We can do that together. Amen. Yeah, we can pray. See? But you can't, praise God. All right. Let's know that you're not praying. Because it 
Mm-hmm. 